Oh. So it's I broke this stock years ago right here. Mm. And I was shooting it yesterday and I broke it again, so I'm trying to bind it up so that it so that I can hold it together for the hunt. <laughs> it's around 7 a.m. We and I are just getting the final things packed up. We have a 10 hour drive to get to the mountains where we're gonna be elk hunting for the next couple days. It'd be a miracle if we didn't forget something. Just nope, it's not something critical. be there five years from now. I think that one's been there for about that long. 14 Fahrenheit. I was laying here last night, I had a freaking mouse run across my face. I tried to get my sleeping bag with me. I tried to grab him and I, th I thought I had him, but he got away from me. Scraper. You think you can kill an elk with your bare hands? I think so. If I had to, it'd be a rough go. So currently, we're just glassing for the elk from the truck and. Uh, that's Clay's job. My job is to get nice shots of him and create a nice little atmosphere of uh, the environment, what's going on, and try to create, a, try to help him create the story. So I'm just gonna get some nice B-roll of uh, everything going on around us. Who knows it'll be used, if it'll be used, but uh, I usually, you know, film four times as much footage as uh, needed. So you have options. There's no snow down here, and so people can just drive anywhere in this desert country, and that kind of keeps the elk out. So uh, we're gonna head back down here and try to get up in elevation a little bit, see if we can find some places that will keep people out. And generally that's where the elk like to hang out.
see what we can find. So you can see the this middle pad here, the planter pad on the for a cat on the front. It's got two lobes, whereas a canine just has one. And it's got these kind of almost teardrop shaped toes right there. Maybe we can find one that's really distinctive. <clears throat> but there's three big lobes on the back and two small ones on the front. It's a decent sized cat. There's a big ridge that we're gonna work our way up to. I haven't seen any elk yet or uh, any fresh sign, but I think if we get up on top of this, it'll put us in a good spot to glass a lot of country. So that's the plan. It's not much of a plan, but that's all we got right now. Pretty country. It's a nice day for a walk. It's probably only 20 degrees Fahrenheit right now, uh, but it's really warm for this time of year. It should be zero degrees. Here, there's a big saddle. There's probably 80 or 100 head in there. But we're not going to be able to get to those today, but I know where they're at for tomorrow. Oh, oh man, there's a pile of elk up there. There's like 200 up there. We'll spend the rest of the day up here and then head back down and then see if we can't figure out a game plan for getting on those tomorrow. It's uh, it's not an easy situation because they're in, they're on a wide open hillside, big wide open ridge, um, and there's a lot of animals there and all it takes is one to see you. Uh, and being in that open country like that, they're just hard to approach. But that's uh, I'm glad to, glad we found those. It's good stuff. Four minutes. 
I don't, I don't like sleeping with mice. I felt the mouse last night. You felt, you felt them right across your face. Right across my face. They like to do that for some reason. Why? What do you think? Do I check the trap? The moment of truth. Is he there? Ah! Oh. <laughs> Darn. Next time. We have that whole herd of 200, 300 elk way up on that mountain and that uh, whoop, sloop, whatever you call it, uh, neck, elbow, something like that. Anyways, I'll just be following them, filming the whole time and uh, kicking back. Excited. few elk up on the ridge here probably I don't know two miles away um, I don't see the big herd but they're up there must be up there somewhere they're just somewhere I can't see them so we're just going to figure out a way to get to them it's absolutely freezing out right now <laughs> but as soon as the sun comes up it might be a little bit uh Get a little bit warmer like yesterday. I'm just gonna. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's cold. <laughs> See if I can get across this without getting my feet wet. Now, these boots are made for extreme cold. Like the Arctic, but they don't do so well with slash or water. So I figured I'd just take them off. <sighs> Pretty cool old, old cabin. Sometimes when you let the powder sit in the pan like that, it gets kind of crusty. So I'm just putting a little a little charge in there. We got a long way to go. Two miles as the crow flies, probably quadruple that with all the around and up and down that we gotta do. They stay for a hike. So we got a bit of a conundrum here due to my lack of navigational skills apparently. But this is, I marked, when I was over there, I marked on the map this ridge, but there's a whole nother drainage between us and them. So the only thing we can do is hike this ridge till it hits the main ridge and then come back on top of them that way. That adds long miles to a day that was already long miles. <clears throat>
cards. It's go time. coming over but I, I was hoping it was coming up this slope but it's just right down to them so I'm sure they were gone before we ever got to that saddle went that way all day work out the window but I can see some more elk it's just a few more miles These other elk are, I don't know, a mile and a half away. We might just ease up here to this little knob here and just see what they're, see what the situation looks like. Xander said he would not be opposed to leaving them till tomorrow. <laughs> so we might do that. That's a, if we kill an elk over there, it's a long way, a long way back to the truck. So. Hey, don't put it on me. <laughs> That's what you're for, man. You, you just walked right into that. On the punching bag. <laughs> yeah, I'd totally just go over there right now, kill every single one of them, but Xander wants to go back to the truck. <laughs> so. uh. All right, so we're debating our next move. Um, if we go after these elk, that's a big commitment because that's basically a whole nother day's hunt. Uh, and it puts us a, one, two big drainages away from the truck. We've only got like, I don't know, two hours till sunset. It's probably gonna take us about that long to get over there. So what we're gonna have to do is walk this ridge there's a big saddle we have to go through, and we have to climb up through these nasty rocks, go up to the top of that peak, and then come down on the elk. We're going to walk over here and look at it and see what it looks like. We'll probably end up doing it because we're not smart enough not to. We're gonna give it a try. Cause Xander wants to. Hoorah. Xander said, quit being a you know. <laughs> I thought we might be able to slip around this face, but they're standing right on top of the ridge right there, they'd spot us. 
I'm gonna have to go around the back side like I thought originally. So we got these cows strung up and down this ridge here. I think we're gonna have to work back and then just keep climbing and try to get some of this rock jumble between us. Hopefully we have enough cover to get down that ridge. But we'll have to see once we get over there. If we can get to these, if we can get to these lower rocks, there's some cows that are within range of that.
options for where for moving right now. Just kind of hope that one comes in closer to us. It's gonna have to come quite a bit closer. Just watch and see what happens. This one was 180. I need I need them to be about 100. That's pretty damn cool, though. Yeah, it's, it's gonna get cold before we get back to the truck. Oh yeah, it's cold. I said it's pretty cool. Oh, to watch. <laughs> yeah, it's cold too. Um, I think we might be able to hook around the face of this and just get to go back through that saddle. Sure. There might be something over there, but I really doubt it. We might be able to come up through this way tomorrow, right? Yeah. Yeah. That was a really cool experience. Following Clay around, filming him all day, getting up into those elks at the end of the day. There's a point where, as we snuck around those rocks, and uh, we were coming down on them and we just saw the whole expanse of 200, 300 elk in front of us. Clay was sneaking down and I, I, I was a little bit above him. I was thinking, I was like, this is probably one of like top 10 coolest things I've ever done in my life. Top 10 moments. That was a real experience just sitting up there. Oh yeah, when I started, uh, when we were up there for like 20, 30 minutes, I just started freezing, like shivering violently. And uh, yeah, that's, that was a really cool moment. We get to get up in the morning and do that all over again. Man, I wonder what the Pope folks is doing. All right guys, we're gonna have to split this adventure into two parts because there's just too much good footage to leave out. In part two, the weather turns nasty, and when there's a flintlock involved, that means anything could happen. So be sure to check back next week and see how this whole thing shakes out.